This is our original circuit that I used to demonstrate the difference between the gas discharge tubes and the MOVs. I've made a couple of changes to this circuit. I've gone ahead and swapped out the two transistors for two diodes. I'm now using a BOV199 and I've also added a new gas discharge tube. This is it on the board. Again, you can see I've made some other mods to this board. These mods were done just to allow me to connect to the board more easily. So I have two grounds, and then the input signal, and then the output. So I thought what I'd do is rerun this board using this new smaller gas discharge tube. This is looking at the smaller gas discharge tube. It's 500 volts per division and 50 microseconds per division. This is about 1,250 volts. Full with half height is about 50 microseconds. This will be one cycle from the half cycle line simulator. Might be a little hard to tell from the video, but the high voltage resistor, it looks like it may have been damaged during that test. I've changed the jumper to select the largest gas discharge tube. Next we'll apply one more transient. It looked like uh, we had a little bit of fire coming out of this, but I can't tell if it's the Corona dope that caught or if it actually came from the resistor. One of the reasons I wanted to run this smaller glass discharge tube is I was curious if it would actually crack the tube. It didn't appear to. In the previous video, I had provided all the part numbers for the components I had used on this test board. Again, we can't correlate this to any type of meter. So hope you enjoyed the video. Well, let's see how the high-speed camera looks. <laughs> 